Welcome. In front of me is a Samsung Galaxy A54 and today I'll show you how you can hard reset this device through recovery mode. Now for this you will need a cable that is plugged into your computer. So I have one prepared for this for right over here. And from there we can simply just plug it in. Now you will probably hear that little uh, Windows sound when I connect it. So. so there it was. There's again a little bit more. I don't think in the second one you microphone picked up. So I'm just mentioning that it was there. But yeah, it is connected to my computer right now. And from here, all you need to do is either turn off the device or forcibly reboot it, whichever one you prefer. If obviously you have a screen like that you don't know, that leaves you with only the second option, which is forcibly rebooting the device. And you do so by holding power key and volume down till the screen or the phone actually turns off. Now, when doing this method, I recommend interacting with the display because this will then ensure that the screen won't time out like it did right now and you will know exactly when the phone actually turns off and not just the screen, which will be crucial because once it turns off the device, meaning you want to switch from power key and volume down to power key and volume up. Now, I mention it because if you try to see, nope, not this. There we go. So if you try to turn off the device without knowing things like your pattern, as an example, it tells you to draw it. Now, I'm not sure why it's annoying us with this one. You can just still reboot the device and uh, and do it, uh, access recovery mode without providing this. So yeah. Now, uh, before I actually get started with the process, I'm gonna mention a couple important uh, parts of it. So typically I would show you how you remove screen lock, which this will still work uh, in removing your screen lock because as you can see, I, I have one and I'm gonna progress uh, with the process as though I wouldn't know it. But uh, where it varies from other videos that I'll typically make is usually if you are well, usually almost all the time, if you're logged into a Google account or a Samsung account, this will lock the device uh, FRP lock. And what that actually means is once the process is finished and you're going through the setup on one of the pages, you will number one be forced to uh, sign into your Wi-Fi and number two later on throughout the setup process, it will tell you to verify your uh, well, the authentication of yourself that the device is yours by either providing the previously used screen lock or previously used signed in uh, Google or Samsung account. Now, assuming you don't know either of those, uh, your device will basically become bricked. Now, typically I'll be making a video on how we can bypass this, but as of right now, this phone is running one of the newer security locks or security updates, which just to kind of show this, gonna navigate into the settings just so you can see what security patch this is running so where would that be phone software information probably kernel build so there we go security uh software version so this is the one that it's running right now it's the uh 20 february 23 uh release one so at the time of recording this, uh, this is relatively new and I have no way of bypassing uh, the protection on this device. So keep that in mind. Now before there were methods of bypassing this and there is a chance that later on there will be another method to bypass this specific one. But at the moment uh, I haven't found it and I don't think anyone else at the moment of recording this has found it just yet. If they did, it's not public yet. So I have I, I don't know what it is basically. So I just want to mention that for everybody that uh, that might be interested in this process uh, or just in the result of this. Now anyway, let's just jump straight into the process. So we're gonna start off by turning off our device. So like I mentioned, uh, I'm gonna show the one where you get to remove the screen lock without actually knowing it. So I'm gonna hold power key and volume down. Now you want to interact with the screen because once it turns off like it did right now, I want to switch to volume up. Now, when you see the Galaxy logo, you can let go of the power key. So first you have Samsung and then that Galaxy. And afterwards, it should put us into recovery mode. Now in here, we'll use a volume keys to navigate through the options. And you want to select wipe data, factory reset. 
Once it's selected, confirm it with power key and select factory data reset. You will see at the bottom data wipe complete, at which point reboot system now will be selected by default. So press power key once again. This will initiate a reboot of the device and continue the process in the background. Also, we can unplug the phone. We only needed the cable to get us into that mode. Now this will probably take a minute to finish up, so I'll be back once I can see my setup screen. And as you can see, the process is now finished and you can set up your phone however you like. Now, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and thanks for watching.